All right, so what's going on, Yelani? We got 5.18. This one says two rivers merge to form a large river, pretty much as shown, at a location downstream from the junction before the two streams completely merge. The non-uniform velocity profile is right there as shown, the 0.8 V and then the V. And the depth is six feet. So we got to determine the value of V. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first step, determine the knowns. All right, so we're the ultimate goal of these problems. This is mass conservation. So this is the formula you will need. Rho AV, right? Um, we need density, the area and velocity of the entrances and the exits. So let's go ahead where you were dealing with water. So density of water is 1.94 slugs per feet cubed. Right, we're dealing with feet. Um, what else? Um, so it seems like we're good. Now the areas, so they give us the depth. So this is kind of what's going on, look. I'll label this point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. And normally it's just a point 0.3, but since they divided these profiles, we'll just split them up into four pieces. So this one's regarding this profile right here, water, and this one is the fourth one. So let's go ahead and pretty much just uh, get the areas for each one of those. So area one, um, again, this is what's going on, sorry. So the depth is three feet. So it's three feet into the water going into the paper. So to get a side view of that, it's kind of like this. We got, that's the first one, right? Goes like that. Not the best, right? But kind of goes like that. So you see the cross section, right? This is 50 feet in length. So it's 50 and this is three feet deep. And same thing here, right? It's five feet deep right here. And it is 80, right? 80 feet long. This one up here, I'm not gonna do it because there's two profiles and this is a small diagram, but you could see that one is 30 feet and then six feet deep, right? According to the problem. So one's 30 by six, one's 70 by six. So area of one is 50 times three. That is 150 feet squared. Area of two is equal to five times 80. That is 400 feet squared. Area of three is 30 feet times six. It's going in six feet. So it's 180 feet squared. A4 is 70 feet, it's going in six. So 70 times six, that is 420 feet squared. So cool, we got the density. It's all uniform all around. Got the areas. Now we just need the velocities at each point. So velocity at one, they give it to us. That is three feet per second. So that's easy. Velocity of two, they give it to us, that is four feet per second. Velocity of three, that is right here, 0 0.8 V. So that's kind of what we're looking for, right? The whole problem says find velocity, uh, determine the value of V. So, and then V4, that is just V. So second step, right, is mass conservation so and what that means is <clears throat> hold on let me write it down mass conservation the sum of the mass flow rates going in is equal to sum of the mass flow rate going out so you get all your inlets set them equal to all your outlets pretty much um so that's pretty easy, right? Um, these two are going in, these two are going out. So it's gonna be the flow rate at point one plus the flow rate, mass flow rate at point two 
is equal to the mass flow rate at point three plus the mass flow rate at point four. Let me move it up just in case you can't see. But that's what's going on, right? We know mass flow rate is rho AV. So we'll do rho A1 V1 plus rho A2 V2 is equal to rho A3 V3 plus rho A4 V4. So cool, we know everything pretty much. So the density, it's all constant, so we don't even need that value, that's cool. Right, they all cancel out. Um, so cool, at the end of the day, it's not really mass conservation, it's just uh, these are all flow rates. So since the density is constant throughout, we just disregard that, but that's not always the case. But in this problem it is, so let's go ahead and just start plugging in numbers. Got 150 times three, right? A1, V1 plus A2, which is 400, right? I'm just basing it off this. 400 times four, that's V2. A3, that is 180. V3 is 0 0.8 V, right? That's gonna be the unknown here. And then finally, a4 is 420 times V. Cool, let's do some math. 150 times three, that's 450. And since we got rid of density, these units are meters cubed. No, I'm sorry, feet cubed per second. It's a flow rate. Plus 1600, right? Is equal to 144V, that's what you get if you multiply 180 times 0 0.8, plus 420V. Cool, so add these two numbers up, you get 2050. Add these two up, you get 564V. Finally, V is equal to 3.63 feet per second. We're looking for the velocity. So that was cool in this problem. We didn't have to worry about density. Um, kind of uh, worked itself out in the end. Uh, what else should I mention? Um, now, normally, um, you're probably wondering why isn't this area here equal to this area here? I mean, the sum of these two areas e equal to the sum of these two areas. That's not exactly the case for, I mean, any scenario. So. These two areas combined is 550 feet squared, right? Some of these two. And then some of these two is 600. So this one's bigger by 50 feet squared. But the thing is, that just means your velocity changes. So if area kind of decreased as it went out, in to out, that means your velocity just got faster or slower. In this case, it's not too obvious to tell because they split it up here. Um, but if this was just a uniform um, velocity gradient, then you could have maybe seen it coming, just FYI. But yeah, that sums up this one.